nine dividing real real numbers. Me. All right, we're gonna divide real numbers. What was that guy holding? Look at this guy. He's holding a cell phone. Mustache man. Dividing real numbers. All right. What do you think the objective is going to be? <laughs> Divide real numbers and to simplify expressions involving quotients. Yes, quotients. Quotients. Definition of division. For those of you who didn't know what division is, we're going to help you out here. And I want you to think about it algebraically. It says for every real number A and every non-zero real number B, the quotient a divided by B, which is sometimes written like this, A divided by B, is defined by A divided by B is A times 1 over B. So to, to divide, you just multiply by the reciprocal. So you never really ever have to divide. That's the great thing about algebra and fractions and things. You never have to divide anything, you know? Yo, you never divide. You just multiply by the reciprocal. Yeah. All right. So you define, we're defining division as the following. Okay. Remember what I do, right? I call multiplying fun because with fraction it's the easiest one. You just go across the top and the bottom, right? 3 times 2 is 6. 5 times 7 is uh, it's tough, 35, right? Well, I call multiplying fun, right? But what about um, division? Oh, man, get that out of there. Keep doing that. I call division flippin' fun, which says flip then fun, flip then fun. So when you see division, two-thirds divided by four-fifths, or two-thirds divided by four-fifths, you just flip the second one, or the bottom one, and multiply. So when they say division, you say, no, man, I'm going to flip and multiply. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to flip and then multiply. So I'm going to change it to two-thirds times five over four to give me ten, twelve. So, or, you know, I could have done this one, two. I got 5 over 6, which I can still reduce here, 5 over 6 anyway. So division is flipping fun. So dividing is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, and we like this. We like this a lot. Flip then fun, flip then fun, here comes the car. Do -do 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 -do. I'm going to show you something. Here's a fraction. Um, here's a fraction of 3 fourths. 3 fourths, right? Does that look at all like the following fraction? Hmm. Dot over dot. Wait a minute. That's a division sign. Have you ever noticed that a division sign looks an awful lot like a fraction? <laughs> because it is, man. It is. This division sign is a fraction. It's dot divided by dot. So remember, that's what the fraction bar says. Divide, Clyde. All right. Now be careful, you crazy reducers, okay? Because before I do this, you know, this, this whole division section, you're doing a lot of reducing. Um, you have to remember why we can reduce. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, some people like to walk up to these things and just start like reducing right away. Before we do it, let's look at. Let's make sure we know what this uh, quotient is here. Nine and three is twelve. Twelve over six. Twelve divided by six. We know this answer is going to be two. It should equal two, right? So let's before we do it, let's, let's do what some people like to do. They like to walk up and be like, oh man, I know this is a one and this is a two. Uh, nine plus one. Um, that's ten um, over two. All right, cool. That's five. Wait a minute. How do we change this whole value here? Because you can't go up and reduce when there's a sum up top, okay? When there's a sum in the numerator, you can't just start picking it apart. You can't do that. Because what this is saying, this is 3 plus 9 over 6. This is 3, 6 plus 9, 6, man. Okay? So you can't do that. You know this is supposed to be 6. This thing is 6 here. When you start doing this business, you mess it up. Now you can split this sum and put them both over the denominator, the common denominator, and now what do you have? 3, 6 plus 9, 6, right? Which is 12, 6, right? Which is what we wanted. Or what you could do um, is you could reduce this and make this one half, right? And you reduce this. Oh, wait, 3 goes into that twice, 3 goes into that three times. Oh, and 3 halves is 1 and a half. 1 and a half and 1 half is 2, which is 12 over 6. Ah, whatever. All right. So just be careful when you have a sum in the numerator. All right, now what it's saying, you ready? Here's another property we're seeing. For all real numbers A, B, and C, when C is not equal to zero, because you can't have a zero in the denominator, the golden rule of algebra, thou shall not divide by zero. Um, 
It just says that when there's a sum in the numerator, a plus b over c is the same thing as a plus c over b plus c. I mean, you do that anyway. You know, you know, if I show you three fifths plus one fifth, you're like, oh, you just add them, you get four fifths, right? That's saying the same thing here, right? Um, or with that four fifths, you really were doing this, right? Three plus one all over five. Sorry, three plus one over five. Three plus one over five is the same thing as three over five plus one over five. Well, a plus b over c is the same thing as a over c plus b over c. Same thing with the difference, okay? So if I show you like, uh, let's show you one. Uh, 10 minus 2 over 4. Same thing as 10 over 4 minus 2 over 4, isn't it? Yeah. 10 fourths minus 2 fourths. Same thing as 10 minus 2 fourths, which is what? 8 fourths. All right. Nice. Uh, you got that, Mike? You got that? All right. I'm going to try to show you using um, some things that I know, you know, why A plus B over C. I'm going to try to prove this to you. So this is kind of like a proof. So see if you can follow right, along, right? Um, this A plus B over C, okay, what this is, the same thing, this is the same thing as writing A plus B divided by C, isn't it? And we know that dividing is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So it's the same thing as writing A plus B times 1 over C, right? All right, cool. Well, I know that uh, multiplication is um, commutative, so I can write 1 over C times A plus B, right? That's the same thing, so I'm not changing anything. Um, all right. And now I can distribute this 1 over C, right, and write 1 over C times A plus 1 over C times B, right? Okay. Nice. And, um, and I know that multiplying by reciprocal is the same as division, or, you know, I could change this to 1 over C, sorry, times A over 1 plus 1 over C times B over 1. And when I do the multiplication, then I get A over C plus B over C. Now, I know that was really exciting for you. Um, but, you know, this is just kind of showing you proof, doing some kind of thing. Kind of, you know, using algebra to get from this side to that side. All right. Now, remember why we can reduce. Do not forget this is very important. The reason why we can reduce is because we know multiplication you grows to touch the top and the bottom. Bang, bang. AC. What? How did I get AB? This is, I, I wrote this wrong. This would, yeah, I should get AC in the top and I should get BD in the bottom, right? Okay. And we can see that by, why did I do this? What is wrong with me? This is ridiculous. I, I copied this wrong, I'm sorry. I, did I write this? What was that? I must be half asleep. Anyway, okay. So if I re re write this in the other way, I know that A times B over C, over C times D is the same thing as A over C times B over D, right? Um, so I'm going to reduce this by using this, something that I know. Watch this. I know something about this, right? I know that 28x is the same thing as what? Isn't it the same thing as 7 times? What is that? Oh, 4x. And isn't this the same as 7 times what? Negative 5x, right? And because I have a product on the top, I can split them up, can I? Can I split them up right, you know, right there? Yeah. I can write 7 over 7 times 4 over... Well, there's not even an X down there. It's getting late. 4X over 5, right? Now, what is this? Let's see. Isn't this all the same if I was going to multiply these? Yeah, it's the same. But what is it 7 over 7? That's 1. That's how I get 4X over 5. It's not because I'm, I'm going to walk up. You know, people will be like, all right, 7 over 7. Remember, when you're reducing, you're just taking, you're simplifying. This is a 1. You're kind of like casting out 1s. And that's it. So, have a nice day.